Welcome back, Star Wars fans. A few weeks ago, we found out that composer Natalie Holt is going to be the main composer for the upcoming Kenobi series. So I wanted to spend today doing a little bit of explanation of who Natalie Holt is and also going over a recent interview that she had with Vanity Fair. My name is Derek and this is Star Wars Music Analysis. First, it's refreshing to see a female composer coming into the Star Wars universe, finally. Composition in general, but especially film composition, is vastly male-driven, and it's always awesome to see that trend broken. And Natalie Holt is not new to these big franchise TV shows, either. She was the composer for the Loki series that came out last year on Disney Plus as well. All of this news broke in a recent Vanity Fair interview, and I want to go through and highlight some of the things that were said in the interview as well that I thought were really cool. One of the things that Natalie explains about working on the Kenobi series is this. For me, the tent poles are set out by John Williams. There are elements to the show that are new and fresh, and I've been able to have my own interpretation with elements that I can't reveal. So, it's been glorious, working with my hero and also bringing my own voice to the show. Natalie also talks a little bit about the new theme for Kenobi that John Williams has written. She says, it's reflective and it's just entirely appropriate. And it distills what the show is about in just the perfect way that John Williams can. It's wistful, but there's an element of hope to it. It's doing something new. And I think people are going to be really blown away by it. She also talks a bit about her process for this show. Deborah and I, she's referring to show director Deborah Chow, Deborah and I met when she flew to London and we spent two days watching through the material. It wasn't fully cut together at that point, so we just spent that time together and talked through the journeys of all the characters and what needed to happen. We kicked off with a two-day intensive immersion into it. Deborah's just done such a fantastic job, and obviously, Un's just delivering the performance of his career as well. I'm very excited for people to see it. She goes on to say, I tried to come up with these themes that I feel are catchy. I had some time to just interrogate what the theme should be for each character, and then bring them to life and put them to picture. This really makes me happy, and I am excited to hear a Star Wars composer talking about themes again. If you've seen my playlist breaking down the music in the Book of Boba Fett, then you know that I get a little down on composer Ludwig Göransson for his use of themes for characters, and that it's not as supportive as what we're used to from Star Wars. So having someone talk about what goes into a theme for a character feels really refreshing to me right now. Holt also hints that we're going to be getting different sounds like a hunting horn along with some modern synths. This all makes me think a bit of the Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett soundtracks and those really cool sounds that got mixed in. Well, there's the hunting horn, she says. That sound that just... she shudders. You hear it and it just does something. It stirs your guts. It's so haunting. And I was working with Brian Kilgore, the percussionist, who's got these incredible unusual instruments. It's that jarring rhythmic texture that we've been playing around with. Natalie goes on to talk about sounds for new worlds. It's always a thing in Star Wars. Finding that Dixieland piece in the cantina, it's taking things that we are familiar with on Earth and giving them a twist. So there's some of that with some instruments and some of the themes we hear in the series. There are some new worlds that we are introduced to. Coming up with the sound, each world has its own character. There are some Latin influences in one of the planets. There's some Thai, Hong Kong, some sounds that are more Eastern. Definitely you take flavors from around the world and then try and turn them into something otherworldly. You're on Star Wars, you're scoring a planet, it has to have scale. 
And this is the part that I am personally most excited for, getting to hear the sound of new planets and cultures. Natalie has proven that she can be very flexible as a composer, and she's able to adapt to different sounds, so I'm really excited to see where she goes with everything. Natalie also mentions that she sings for part of the score, along with playing viola and violin, which I think is really cool. But I want to hear from all of you now. What are you most excited for for the Kenobi series, and were you familiar with Natalie Holt before the Kenobi series and this big announcement? Tell me in the comments below, and before you go, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to learn more about the music from a galaxy far, far away. And as always, may the be with you.